In this video, we are going to learn about linear pairs. One of the first things that you should notice with the word linear is that it contains the word line. That is important for understanding what a linear pair is. If we draw a line, a linear pair is a pair of angles that make up this line. So for example, if I now draw in a ray, the two angles in this picture form a linear pair. Linear pairs are always supplementary. This means that they will always add up to 180 degrees because, if you remember, a straight angle, which would be the full angle all the way around, is 180 degrees. So these two angles in the linear pair have to add to 180 degrees. The two angles that form a linear pair must be next to each other. This means that they must share a common ray. So for example, these two angles, while they might be supplementary, perhaps they do add up to 180 degrees if this one was 100 and this one was 80 degrees, these two angles are not a linear pair because they do not share a common ray. So to be a linear pair, we have to have this common ray here. So the two angles have to actually be on the same line. Another vocabulary word that you should know is the word adjacent. Anytime two angles form, excuse me, share a common ray, then they are adjacent to each other. The word adjacent means next to, but in the context of angles, it means that they share a ray. So these two angles are adjacent to each other, and in this case, they happen to be a linear pair, so they add up to 180 degrees. The biggest way that you will use this information about linear pairs is if you see a line that's been divided up into two different angles, you will know that the two angles that make up this line form a linear pair, so they have to add up to 180 degrees. So if this angle was 120 degrees, you would know that this angle has to be 60 degrees because these two angles form a linear pair, so they have to add up to 180 degrees.